Well, hi there. I'd like to show off and give my opinions of the 11 hook Rainbow 2L. There's also the D2L that comes with a digital camera. You can see it listed there on the box. This is the 2L model that doesn't come with a camera. It comes in five different colors. This is their Moonstone color. It is mostly a plastic body, but it comes with the microscope itself. It comes with some sample slides and also some blank slides. It does not come with any glass slip covers uh, to put over the top of your own samples, but you can put them on the slides themselves. It comes with uh, some different things that you can look at, some explanations. It also comes with a hatchery tank. It's just a plastic tank or four different compartments with uh, little viewers there. It comes with sea salt, yeast, brine shrimp, and also some gum media. Uh, plastic tarp, a instrument to slice off samples, say from a piece of wood, uh, eyedropper, and tweezers. Uh, so the Microsoft itself I, I think is a, a nice one. Uh, just keep in mind it is all plastic or mostly plastic. Uh, it comes with the eyepiece here that it does not lock into place. That is the one nit that I have with the microscope because I picked it up before and forgotten about that and it's kind of slipped out. But the optics on it are very good. It has a, well, the 10X is in place here. Here's 4X, 10X, and also a 40X nose piece here. It has lights on the bottom and on the top. So this dial here is for turning the lights on. So this just turned on the bottom one. This turned on the top one here, and this turns both of them on. And you can adjust the intensity of the light here with this dial. So it is very handy. In addition to being able to adjust the light intensity with the dial, you can also, let me pull this out so it doesn't slip out, you can also adjust the aperture size underneath looking through to the slide by this dial here that turns around. Uh, so this is very easy to spin for the different nose pieces, uh, the magnitude that you want. And then it has on both sides the uh, I guess the dials that move the platform up and down to get it into focus. Very typical, uh, at least with microscopes that I've used, it has two metal bars on either side to clamp a slide into place. So let me just show you that right here. So it comes with different samples. Uh, this is a pine wood slice here that you can look at. And I'm going to show this to you looking through the eyepiece uh, on the video here in just a second. But you just clamp it into place. Uh, it keeps it very nicely. Uh, again, oh, sorry. Sorry about the dog hair. So it has a battery compartment here. It also comes with a charger that you can keep it plugged in to run the lights. I've always used the batteries because it's worked for me very well. I've had this for over a month. I used it a little bit. So I've not only looked at their samples, but I've looked at things around the house. For example, I found some stuff floating in the water tank for my coffee. It looked like little pieces of yeast. Wasn't sure how they got in there or why they'd be in there. Uh, then I look at them underneath the microscope because I had it handy and well, been out of school for a while, but last time I checked, yeast doesn't have heads and legs. So uh, yeah, I cleaned that water compartment out pretty quickly. But overall, I'm quite pleased with it. I was initially a little taken aback by the plastic feel of it. I grew up when these were all metal. That's what I got used to. But it's quite handy. I mean, it's, it's not cheap plastic. Uh, it's nice and lightweight, easy to carry around, good optics. Again, I wish that this locked into place. But that's really my only, uh, again, my only nit about it. The optics, I think, are very good. It's easy to get into focus. The lighting works quite well. Comes with various things. Uh, the only thing I wish it came with were the glass slip covers for your own samples, but those are pretty inexpensive. Uh, so yeah, so now let me show you what a sample looks like through the eyepiece, uh, then I'll be done. So here's a look down through the microscope itself. I uh, apologize that it's probably not the best, but I'm doing what I can with my video camera. So right now I'm just adjusting the focus so you can see how everything looks when you kind of get it into place here. And I, I'm using the 40X uh, lens on the nose piece. Uh, and I'm using the lighting that's underneath. So let me switch the lighting here. So this is the underneath lighting. That is the lighting on top. And that is both of them put together. So for me, at least with this sample, this happens to be the pine wood sample. And I've got the brightness up. Uh, all the way on the light. So you can dim the brightness as well. So now I'm just turning it down. So you can't see it quite as well that way. At least through the video camera. Now the camera's going to auto adjust. So I, I think the image quality of this is just spectacular. It's probably not coming across in the video and I apologize for that. But I wanted to show you a view down through the microscope at least a little bit.